let's just be honest. Do players even care about captaincy? Or is it just something here that us fans want to know? I mean, let's be real. Is this going to actually affect the game of the St. Louis Blues this upcoming season? Well, let's talk about it. Your Locked On Blues, your daily podcast on the St. Louis Blues. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome back to Locked On Blues, your daily podcast of the St. Louis Blues, brought to you by the Locked On Podcast Network. My name is Haley Taylor Simon, and I am your host of Locked On Blues. And in today's episode, I want to get into some things that have been on my mind that I've been really questioning as if this is going to affect the season. I also want to talk about the longevity of Robert Thomas and why he is so vital. And of course, I will have our Blues History Minute. So this is all coming up here in Lockdown Blues. For those that don't know me, I do work in sports talk radio, so I'm used to opinions, comments, and you don't always have to agree with me, but you should always get in the conversation with me. So make sure you guys leave a comment below. I want to let you know that today's episode is brought to you by Bird Dogs. Go to birddogs.com slash LockedOnNHL or enter promo code LockedOnNHL for a free white tech hat with any order. You won't want to take your Bird Dogs off. We promise you. All right. This topic is a topic that I feel like I could talk about forever, and I kind of have. <laughs> let's, let's keep it 100. I have here on Locked on Blues talked about this. And it's about Braden Shen. I hate that I'm about to say this. It does not look like the Blues are any closer to naming a captain. I understand that not every team has a captain in the NHL currently. I understand that you don't need a captain in order to have a successful season. We saw that with uh, the New York Rangers. But... What I will say, and co-host is here with me. She hasn't been feeling good, so that's why I'm, like, holding her. I cannot believe it is 50 days until the NHL season, and the Blues have made no indication whatsoever that they're going to be naming a captain. Maybe it will be something, you know, opening night, like, being all dramatic. I don't know how they would do this. But what I do know is that hockey is a sport where a captain is really utilized. It is a sport when you have a captain, you have that leader on and off the ice. And in a game like hockey, that's so physical, so demanding, so passionate. You need as a player to have that leader that you can go to for advice, for anything, honestly. And it's getting to the point where I am questioning if captaincy really matters because, okay, yeah. After Ryan O'Reilly, you know, got traded this uh, past trade deadline, I understand not naming a captain. You know, the season was kind of towards the end. You don't need to do that. I get that. But come on, you've had all of the rest of that season. You had all of this off season. And maybe they're going to do something, but I am just thinking worst case scenario, they may not name one. And I put on Twitter at Locked on Blues, I always like to ask, you know, you, the listener, and I'm going to go pull this up on Twitter because this is an interesting conversation that we had. But I said, do you think the Blues will name a captain within a month? I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. It's the off season. Okay. So at the end of September, do you see a captain? And the drop hockey show said Folk would be our choice. And I like Justin Folk. I do. But I don't know if they would give it to him. Um, Dak T. Mac fan said they have to give it to Shen, but I'm not sure how will they do this. Sam said, my guess it will be Shen if they do. 
and the A's would go to Folk and Thomas. That's actually what I said a couple weeks ago. So I like that a lot, Sam, and that is exactly what I had. Uh, the Vegas Blues fan, I love that. Said, not sure Armstrong, but Shen is the obvious choice. Thomas is not ready, but they are the best of speaking with media. And then David said, the 96-97 Blues didn't have a captain. Captain C went to Chris Pronger when he was ready for it. I could see a similar situation happening with Robert Thomas. And then Josh said, I feel like if they were going to do it, they would have done it already. So I want to comment on a couple of those things about the 96-97 Blues. Yes, they didn't have a captain. Yes, they have to pronger. That is a different situation. I said I could see, and I'm going to talk about him, Robert Thomas being the future of the Blues in so many ways. And 100% in my heart, do I believe that one day he will get captaincy? Yes. Do I think that that's going to happen within the next couple seasons? No. The obvious choice is Braden Shen. And you cannot tell me that this guy does not deserve it because he does deserve it. I'm a big, 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 big believer on you should get something if you deserve it. You don't get things just because you've been on the team for a long time. And when you see a guy that works hard, that is great with speaking with not only media, but with his team and the fans and has that real connection, you want to give it to that guy. He is a leader. He is passionate and he plays good on the ice. I I feel a lot of things, okay, without trying to get too mad. I feel a lot of things when it comes to this team. I feel like it would be beneficial to have Shen as the captain rather than not a captain. I just feel like it would give the team some direction. Okay, he's the best leader. He is the best, you know, team player, and that's important. And he will help guide the team. After the team struggled last season, you need somebody, especially a player who's been around, that is going to guide the team. But a lot of people all have their doubts about Army. You know, will he actually do it? I don't know. And that's what concerns me. We're 50 days that folks out until the first game of the regular season. That means that we're less than 50 days until camp. We're less than 50 days until preseason. There are so many things that are coming, and it's going to come fast. It's going to go boom, 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 boom. But where is the captain? And maybe to us fans, a captain is a big deal. Maybe to the players, they don't care. I don't know. I am not a player. I don't play in the NHL. But I would love to talk to some of the former captains of the Blues, like to talk to O'Reilly, you know, Petrangelo, maybe a Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> hey, Wayne, you know, the 18 games that you played, how was it to be captain? Like, I would just love to know, does it actually affect you the way that it does to the fans? And I'm not saying, like, I'm going to lose sleep over this. Okay, I lied. I have lost some sleep over this because it gets me so heated because I get super stressed out. I like to plan things. I like to have things done in advance. So the fact that it's taking this long, I'm like, what is the holdup? And somebody, I forgot who it was, they said about um, maybe they do want it to be Thomas and they're going to wait for him to be ready. But you can't realistically wait like four seasons without a captain. Or you give it to him now. But I just feel like with the current players on the team, I would put Folk above him. I just wouldn't give it to him. If Braden Shen wasn't a St. Louis Blue, okay, that would be different. But he is. And he deserves it. I got really heated on this segment, and I think that that is a fair thing for me. Um, it, it's just one of those things where some of the comments I read, it's ridiculous. Like We all know the obvious choice. Like, there's no need to continue to um, go in circles here. We all know that if there is a captain, it is going to be Braden Shen. 
And if you if you're in denial about that, then I am sorry because at the end of the day, he is the best player in terms of a team player. And let's let's not forget he's parade and bleeping Shen. He was with the Blues when they went to the Cup. Like, this is the thing. It's not even just like, oh, yeah, he's been here long. It is he is somebody that is the future. Well, not the future. He was the future of the Blues, and now he's living as one of the most notable Blues. Not the best, but notable because of the effort and the heart that he puts in. I was hyping him up more than he was. I'm like, take it down a notch. Take it down a couple notches. But he still should be captain. I don't know what that was behind me, but did you guys just hear something like beep? I was like, what is this? That kind of spooked me a little bit, but eh, it is what it is. All right. I'm going to tell you about bird dogs. Bird dogs make you look good, and bird dogs are a stretch khaki short that are designed to fit slimmer through the thigh and leg to give you that truly sculptured look. Bird dog shorts do the exact same thing as Lululemon, but they fit way better. Listen, I see so many of my guy friends wearing bird dogs and their legs always look so good. And for you ladies, they are so comfortable as well. So don't be afraid to get your bird dogs because I promise you, you're going to look so good in them too. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to go to birddogs.com slash locked on NHL and enter promo code locked on NHL for a free white tech hat with your order that's birddogs.com slash locked on nhl and promo code locked on nhl for a free white tech hat you won't want to take your bird dogs off we promise you all righty could robert thomas be the face of the Face of the blues for years to come. Well, I almost like messed that up. Yes. <laughs> so for those that kind of want a little update on the Robert Thomas, and we we love Robert Thomas here in St. Louis, but Robert Thomas, he just actually had a birthday. He was b- born July 2nd, 1999. So he is 24 years old. Why is that important? Because Robert Thomas and I are the same age. Meanwhile, he's killing in the NHL and I'm here. No, I'm joking. No, but Robert Thomas is, um, <laughs> I, I don't know why I thought that was funny in my head. It's like a little opening to the segment, but I guess that was only me who found it funny. Um, so yes, he was a first round 20th pick for the St. Louis Blues in the 2017 draft. And obviously center this past season. So 2022, 2023, he played 73 games with 18 goals, 47 assists. So that is absolutely huge. And then in totality with his career here in St. Louis, he's played a total of 314 games of 60 goals and 169 assists. So my man's Robert Thomas is out here killing it with the assists. And that that's what makes him important. He's a little fireball on the ice. And that is what's so important about Robert Thomas is that he is able to accumulate those plays and he makes it happen. And having Thomas is vital because he's young and he plays older than he is. Haley, what does that mean? Like, what? It means that he is able to make smart, rational decisions that don't impact him positively but impacts the team positively he's not stupid he's not going to go to try to take a shot on net if he doesn't think that he's going to get it he's going to make the pass you see a lot of players that are young that try to make you know things happen that are not going to happen because you know they want the credit of getting it done blah, 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 blah. that is not robert thomas he makes sure that he does what's best for the st louis blues and that is why folks People forget he is only 24 and he was only a 2017 draft pick. So what am I getting at here? He has a lot of time left in the NHL. A lot of time. A lot of time. And hopefully that will be with the St. Louis Blues. But what I am trying to say is Thomas is 100% going to be the face of the Blues within the next coming seasons. 
after, you know, a couple of the key guys that, you know, you and I, we all love as in Shen and, you know, eventually when Joel Hoffer takes over for Binner and uh, I'm not saying that's going to happen yet. I'm just saying like theoretically like down the line, it's going to be Robert Thomas and he will be the captain of the St. Louis Blues one day. Not yet, but one day, because right now he is playing like an absolute stud on the ice. Yeah. My little hockey term stud on the ice. Yeah. But that is what I like to see. I don't like selfish play, and he does the complete opposite of that, which insinuates to me that he sees the bigger picture, which is how can I help the St. Louis Blues win rather than how can I make Robert Thomas look good? I think that having to take that step and think he still has, you know, some development, things that he could work on, but he's already showing that he's able to take that coaching, he's able to take that direction and apply it. From how he played in his rookie season to now, you can see that has changed. You can see that when he's passing the puck, he's looking up more, he's seeing his options. And and that's an important skill that people tend to forget is the being able to look, being able to assess. Because you only have a split second before you, okay, do you continue scanning? Do you pass? What do you do? And that's what makes him as valuable. And I think that's why when I do mention the talk of captaincy, people, you know, forget that kid's still young because I'm still young, I would hope. (laughs) But it's an interesting conversation to have. And it's an interesting thing to think about, well, who will the future St. Louis Blues players be? Obviously, the draft picks. Dvorsky. I cannot wait for him to play in St. Louis, by the way. Dabrur Dvorsky. Dvorsky. No, I am very excited about him. But when you look at the future of the Blues and you think about who is going to be the leader, who is going to be here for long term, the first guy that comes to my head is Robert Thomas. And it makes me feel kind of comfort in a way, in a really strange way. Because I think after losing um, Petrangelo and O'Reilly, just different guys that I got kind of like a bond with, right? Um, it sucks. And it's like a weird feeling because I, I always say, like, don't get attached to anything in life that isn't like something that's going to always be there. And I end up getting attached to freaking players on teams because they got me a cup. But that it's a it's my toxic sports mentality. The point that I am trying to make is this. It is let's let's take a step back and think. Who do you think could be the future of St. Louis Blues? And if you're not thinking Robert Thomas. Then who are you thinking? And I truly want to know. Like, you can tell me in the comments down below. I want to know what you were thinking. So definitely let me know that ASAP Rocky. Do you like that? ASAP Rocky. Okay. Two things. One, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Haley T. Simon. But more importantly, make sure you follow at Lockdown Blues on Twitter. Also, if you're on YouTube, subscribe to the YouTube page. And of course, if you're listening on Spotify, Apple Music, wherever you get your podcasts, thank you so much. Make sure to give like five stars or however you do it. I prefer to watch my Locked On episodes on YouTube. So I watch my friends over at Locked On Cardinals on YouTube and uh, they do a great job. So I got to support my local St. Louis people. Second thing, and this is the most important thing for this week. I... We'll be talking about something in tomorrow's episode and Friday's episode that I need your opinion on. Who do you think the Blues' biggest competition will be in the Central Division? And then, who do you think the Blues' biggest competition will be in the entire NHL? I need you. I need, I get it, like, I need you. I need you. No, like, I I need you. I need you to let me know in the comments. I need you to tweet me. I need you to tell me because this is a topic 
that I have debated my friends on, and I need you to help settle this. So that is what we're going to be talking about this week. Today, it was about a topic that I tweeted about because I was really passionate about this topic, and I still am. That's not going to change. Okay. I don't think you guys are ready for this. Blues history myth of the day. Ozzy Osbourne getting his mugshot in his St. Louis Blues jersey is some hockey guy Hall of Fame type of stuff. I'm going to show you the picture. This is so iconic. I, I, I. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne getting his mugshot taken in a St. Louis blue shirt. <laughs> Honestly, great publicity for the blues. Yeah. Um, okay. So what is my initial reaction? My initial reaction is this is absolutely insane. I wasn't expecting that at all. I'm like, oh, look, I miss hockey. I miss blues hockey. And then all of a sudden that pops up and I'm like, uh, I guess this is not like history, but it definitely deserves a minute. So that was that. It was also recently Braden Shen's birthday. So happy birthday, Shenny. Appreciate you. Today it is August 23rd, which means it is exactly... 50 days until the regular season begins. So all I can see is this picture of Ozzy Osbourne popping up. And every time I see it, I just can't stop cracking up because it is the funniest thing in the planet. Like what? It The things that you hear on Lockdown Blues. Yeah, so also speaking of hockey legends the blues put out on um i think it was like twitter and instagram like a couple weeks ago who is your favorite blues player of all time and wayne gretzky said brett hall so he even knows the goats the goat so that happened i'm trying to think of anything else you know nothing else happened in the history minute but i <laughs> But, I mean, that was quite a bit considering how summer's kind of usually dead. I bet you weren't expecting for there to be a birthday, a mugshot, and the goat talking about the goat. I love hockey. It is such a random sport sometimes. And uh, you you truly just never know what you're going to get, especially with, like, Shenny and... Gretzky. Okay. Brett Hull. Honestly. Best blue of all time. He he were the blue newt the best. He was the best player that the blues had. Number one in my opinion. And if you try changing my mind saying, oh no, it was Gretzky because he was so great. He was here for 18 games. Do not tell me. Do not disrespect Brett Hull, when Brett Hull was the best. I get so passionate about that because that is another argument that people try to have. And I'm like, I am I am not doing this today. <coughs> okay. Whoa. Well, folks, this was a fun episode here on Locked on Blues. I will talk to you tomorrow. And it looks like my co-host is doing a little bit better. So that is all good and dandy. All right, and how I end every single episode. Can I get a let's go blues?